What up Wastelanders, Christopher here, Gaslands NorCal. Thanks for joining me once again for another conversion video. Now I don't know where you're at in the world, but here in NorCal, this past week it's been like over a hundred every single day, almost like the past two weeks. And I am not, not, not a hot weather person. So this build is gonna be kind of a, a maybe a tribute or a, something to the weather gods to get some cooler weather. I'm gonna make this 1980 AMC Eagle into an ice rig using these uh, tracks. These ones are from Angel of Combustion. Got some big ones and little ones. Got some different rams going on to kind of like the snow plow and stuff. Trying to get it to more of like an ice blue color. So I'm thinking about mixing like this turquoise bright jade from Monument Hobbies Pro Krill. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to do this time. Got some different ideas for the armor and stuff. Watching some other uh, crafting videos and getting some cool thoughts and stuff going on so uh yeah first things first we gotta get this baby apart and get her into the stripper all right so we're all primed up in the white because we're doing the light blue and stuff i really want to pop so it's better to prime in the lighter color like i've said before so the uh, lighter colors of the base is going to come out even better. So, like I said, mixing the bright jade and the turquoise, kind of trying to get an ice blue. We'll see how it turns out. Um, and while we're uh, waiting for that to dry, we've got several different rams and weapons and the uh, tracks that we're going to get painted up and um, dry brushed into silver. So we start getting that going on. Um, have some different ideas for the armor and everything. So yeah, let's uh, first off, let's get this painted up in the hopefully ice blue we'll see how it turns out and then we'll get it together and start getting everything uh, put on there and see how it goes but yeah let's do it all right so we're all back together and got the tracks and everything on there before we go on and uh, get everything else together, we're going to start doing some of the um, grunging up. I'm also going to be using some of these uh, decals from the Mighty Brush. These are very thin decals. They take a little bit of time and effort and just kind of a steady hand to get them on there, but they're really cool. They work out really well. Got some lead tape that I striped so it looks more like corrugated um, armor I'm getting on there. Got the ram, the weapon, everything ready to go. So yeah, let's start getting everything together and we'll see where we're at. But yeah, so far so good. I'm liking it. We're all put together with the uh, tracks and the weapon, the ram and everything, and the decals going on looking really good. They are kind of a, a little bit more of a challenge than regular decals, but they do come out really, really well. So I'm really liking those. Next, we're going to move on and do some of the uh, chipping. We're going to do it in three different stages to do the weathering and the chipping and the rusting and stuff. We're going to start off with the uh, dark rust from MIG, and then we're going to move on to the chipping solution. This is a heavily used bottle. It's almost gone, I think. And then uh, finally for the rust, we're going to finish up with the Vallejo orange rust. And then we'll do the fine detail work, like all the uh, the lights and the, the uh, door handles and the tail lights and stuff like that. And before we do a little dusting, we'll call this thing done. So yeah, let's get this thing chipped and rusted up before we move on to some fine details. But yeah, I'm really liking this. Loving the decals. Got it. One 1980 AMC Eagle, all tracked up and big old ram and machine gun and stuff, ready for the tundra wastelands. 
I do like these tracks. Um, one thing to keep in mind if you're doing a tracked vehicle, um, tracks will reduce your handling or you increase your handling by one, re reduces your max's max gear by one. It also ignores rough and treacherous terrain, so it can be good if you're dealing with people that use a lot of like glue droppers, oil slicks, stuff like that. But if you're sticking on a truck or a heavy truck, you're really not going to be winning any death races. But they're pretty good. They look really cool. So yeah, I like it. Looks really good. If you enjoyed this video, you learned something, do me a favor and hit that like button. My goal is to do weekly videos, whether they're vehicle builds, terrain builds, whatever. So if that's for you, please hit the sub button below and ring the bell to get notified when new content drops. I do sell all my builds pretty inexpensively on my Etsy page. So if you want to pick anything up, see what else I've done, you can even request a custom build. Until next time, keep your foot on the gas and your finger on the trigger. Gaslands NorCal, signing out.